So in this video, we conclude with section 3.7, where we're looking at implicit differentiation, and we're using this implicit differentiation idea to find a tangent line. Okay, so at this point, we've done a couple videos where we first talked about implicit functions. We've done a video on that, and the second video we did, we talked about how to take the derivative of an implicit function. Okay, in this video, we're going to try to do the tangent line problem. Okay, so that's step three. Okay, here's a typically phrased problem you've been given an implicit function. Okay, um, and you're being asked to find the equation of the tangent line to this following curve, to this implicit function at specifically a specific uh, point has been given to you. Okay, so an implicit function has been given and a point has been given. Okay, so note according to the first video we know that this point is actually on this implicit function. Note that 1, negative 1 is on this graph of this function because when you look at x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 1, when you look at the formula, put x and y into this function, you get 1. And that, that's what you get on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you also get 1. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So this point is actually on that function. Okay. So what we know from the tangent line formula from the tangent line formula, we know that the equation is y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1. And we know a point, y minus a negative 1, is equal to the slope times x minus 1. So y plus 1 is equal to the slope times x minus 1. Okay. The only thing we don't know for this line is what is the slope of the line. Okay, and that is the last thing to fill out. So we know we know the point. We need to find the slope now. Okay? So to find the slope, find the slope of this curve, xy squared is equal to 1, and we need to find that slope at the xy value 1, negative 1. To do that, we need to first find, according to what we've done in the second video, step two, find the derivative, find y prime at x is equal to one, y is equal to negative one. But to find y prime, we need to do implicit differentiation to take the derivative of both sides of this equation. Okay. The product rule will kick in, you'll get first times the derivative first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first is equal to zero. The derivative of x is equal to one, the derivative of x with respect to x, and the derivative of x y squared with respect to x according to the chain rule is going to be two y multiplied by y prime. So what we can say here is that um, looking at this first term here, 2 times x times y multiplied by y prime plus y squared is equal to 0. And now when you solve for y prime, you will get negative y squared divided by 2xy. Okay. So the slope of the line that we're looking for, the slope of this line, is taking this derivative function and evaluating it at x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 1. Okay. When x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1, you get negative, negative 1 squared over 2 times 1 times negative 1, also known as positive 1 half. Okay. So the slope of this line is positive one-half. Okay. 
and therefore the equation of the tangent line is y is equal to negative 1 plus 1 half times x minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to check our answer over here so you can see what see see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to look at my calculator. I'm going to plot the implicit function that we had. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to do the function was x multiplied by y squared, and that was equal to one. And there is our implicitly defined function. We can see that the point 1, negative 1 is on this graph. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. Let's plot this from 0 to, say, 3. And let's plot this from, say, negative 2 to 0. So I'm just going to zoom in on a part of the graph here that is in question. So can we see that negative 1 for x? Oh, it's supposed to go to, sorry, 1 for x. x is down here. 1 for x negative 1 for y. So that point is on the graph. Okay, And we got an equation of the line which was um, negative 1 plus 1 half times x minus 1. That was the equation of our line. And that was y is equal to, and let's put these two together, and there is the line that is tangent. That line does look tangent, and so I'm pretty confident in our answer. Okay. So there are the series of steps. Okay, let's summarize them on the next page and page below. Okay. So if you have some sort of implicit function, some implicit function is given. It'll be of the form maybe g of x comma y equal to some constant. So, for example, it could be something like x squared y plus cosine of xy is equal to 5. That's an example. Or it could be xy is equal to negative 2y plus 10. Right? These are different examples of implicit functions. If you move everything to the other side, xy, 2y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now you can see that these formulas are the same. And it's something that has x's and y's on one side, and the other side is equal to a constant. So you have to have some implicit function given to you. Okay? If you want to find the tangent line, it's y minus something is equal to something times x minus something. Okay? And what you're looking for is the y value of a point on the tangent line. You need, in this blank, you need the x value of a point on the tangent line. And here, in this entry, you need the slope of the tangent line. Okay? So that's the general formula. Okay? You then need to find the slope of the tangent line by finding the derivative of your implicitly defined function. Okay, take the derivative of both sides of the equation. Okay, and then you need to solve for y prime is equal to some formula, some formula that has x's and y's in it. Okay, and then your slope is going to be that formula y prime. The formula you get, maybe for example, it comes out to be you know, x minus y over 2xy, that could be an example, you would then plug in, uh, plug in the point on the line, on your tangent line, to get a number. That number, when you plug into your derivative, is the slope that goes right here in your tangent line formula. Okay? So here are the steps to finding the equation of a tangent line. Okay, um, We'll talk um, in future class sessions about why this tangent line is so important. We've already implied that approximations are a good use of tangent lines, and that is an idea we will explore more in other videos.